In South Florida brings many sights, and lately there's one growing by the day. Recently, I grabbed my dive gear for a closer look at what's invading our coral reefs and why, if we don't act now, their future could be in peril. This is winter diving in South Florida, heading out Jupiter Inlet on a cloudy day right into bumpy seas. This dive took us a mile offshore with a crew as eager to get in the water as we were. We're going to have a better luck for uh, the barrel finders. Make your way to the swim platform. In a matter of minutes, we're underway and underwater. However, this day would bring us closer to a problem. Amid the perfect visibility in 80 degree water with turtles and marine life surrounding us, we caught sight of an enemy on our coral reefs. This competition between sponges and corals is favoring the sponges right now. Dr. Brian LaPointe of FAU Harbor Branch guides us toward this growing concern, not only on our reefs, but more so on reefs in the Florida Keys. Barrel sponges, fueled and fed by nutrients in the water, are replacing coral reefs in certain areas. According to a new report in Science News, they've been taking over here in Florida since 2000. And LaPointe knows firsthand. He's seen what the Keys once had to offer. 90% coral cover as recently, you know, as the 60s and 70s. Uh, now they're down to 5% or less. In fact, the Florida Keys now have the least coral cover of any reefs in the Caribbean region. It is a focal point for scientists like these who bring many samples to the surface. Each one holds a key to understanding the future of our coral and more importantly, how we can save it. Every day is different. You just never know what you run into. Give you some perspective from this article from Science News. They reported between 2000 and 2012, the number of giant barrel sponges increased by 122%.